Welcome back to a new video guys. Now today's video is going to be a video I know you guys are going to love. It's on Scorched Earth again today, but this is going to be all the dinos. Well, I've li I think I've missed out like two, which is like the Jaboa and stuff, but like all the best dinos tamed. And just going to give you guys a little playthrough of what they look like and everything like that. And how you, pl and how, you know, just how cool they are to use. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button as always, guys, and subscribe for more. Thank you for over 12,000 subscribers, guys. A massive cheer for that. Thank you so much. But anyway, let's get on with the video. So there's a lot of stuff here as you can see. But the first thing we're going to go for is the more. The, would you call it a Molot Molotops? Um, I actually really like these things. It says water, so I, I guarantee these things can carry water for you. Um, it's really quick, as you can see here. You would expect it to be slower. Um, I really, really, really actually like it. It's pretty cool, you know, it's quite fast. It has some sort of attack, you know, as you can see there, but it's going to be pretty standard. But this is like a sort of a mobile caravan for you guys, and um, it's definitely something that I'm going to recommend for you to tame up, and definitely something I'm going to get for my series. Now, obviously, the next big boy here, we have the Rock Elemental. This is an absolute tank. Just look how big it is. We're going to try this out on um, on this little on, on this guy here. We're going to throw a rock at it just because you know. Look at that. If you want to throw a rock, you press LT, and I'm going to see the damage we can do to this guy. Literally, we've just broke. We've just got sand. We've just broken rocks there. Like, you just break rocks, and now we're encumbered. That's not great. But, yeah, so... Pretty tankish. This is all its stats here, as you can see. We're going to drop all items because we don't need it. But it is pretty damn insane. I cannot wait to use this guy for more things, and it is going to be amazing. So, the next thing we're going to move on to now is the Praying Mantis. This is pretty epic, I'm not going to lie. Watch this, guys. Like, it can jump and spear at things. It is insane. So, where where did that thing go? There, all right, we'll see. So... Let's see uh, the jumping attack at this guy here. So, it, it it is pretty cool, but it's decided to attack us now. Um, um, and look, look, look how much damage it does. It does a decent amount of damage. You can jump back at things. You know, if you get pushed back, you can just jump back at them. Keep jumping at them. And there we go. We have seen what this bad boy can do. So, they are pretty OP. Um, their stats, you know, they're pretty similar. You know, um, obviously not to the Rock Elemental. You know, just pretty standard. But they are insane. You can get to places really quickly by jumping. Now, the next thing we're going to go on to is the Moth. Now, the Moth is something I'm actually really going to enjoy using. Because it's just something that's going to help you get around places. It's got this little, like, poison sort of, you know, like, poo sort of drop there, as you can see. And um, I, I think it's some sort of poison that when they drop it, I know I've actually walked into it on my first episode of my um, of my series, and it does make you very ill. And um, but it is going to be something really cool to use, and I cannot wait to use it. So the next thing we're going to go on to is the thorny dragon. Now this thing obviously shoots those like little spike things, and as you can see, there's actually a dire wolf there. So let's let's fight that dire wolf. Let's fight. Oh no, my vulture! No. Oh dear, he set off some. <laughs> <laughs> He's set off something you do not want to do. You leave my vulture alone. You oh, we're getting hurt. We're getting hurt by my own dragon. That is not good. So um, everything's gone a bit off place there. But there we go. It's all dropped down again. Um, so yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, but we'll move on to the next thing, which obviously was the vulture. Um, but I don't even know where my vulture's gone. And now my dragon's gone off. This, this is going to be insane. To, but yeah, there is a vulture that is very, very small that you can put on your shoulder. So that is going to be something pretty insane. But I think... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. It's literally hiding here. There, there it is. So you can pick it up, put it on your shoulder, see a little vulture. And it's... Oh, it looks so, it looks so cool. So yeah, um, we'll throw that. And we'll move on to something I know you guys have just been looking at the whole time. And like, the manticore. This thing is epic just look it's, it's like as big as the dragon now it can't breathe fire or anything but it can use its tail to sting things um and it's pretty damn cool we can have a little look in orbit camera look how insane this bad boy is it looks crazy and it's definitely 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 something that i'm going to be trying to get in my series now as you can see my dragon is still going crazy but we'll get into that a little bit later i think you know we should fight against this saber tooth here and just show you how powerful this bad boy is actually going to be so the saber tooth it's trying to attack us, and we seem to have just killed it straight away. So, yeah. Um, the next thing I'm going to move on to, everything's a little bit, you know, a little, little bit messy at the moment um, because there's just so much stuff. So, I've just I've just hopped off, and I seem to be a bit stuck on the manticore. I don't understand this. 
Oh, wait, am I gonna am I gonna slowly slide off, or am I just gonna be stuck here forever? We might have to we might have to hop on and fly um and fly off because it looks like we're a little bit stuck. But it's because you're meant to have a normal saddle for that anyway. So let's fly off onto our next dino, which is going to be the Wyvern, which is a standard Wyvern. It is actually you can get lots of different types. Oh no, you need to type in walk, don't you? Um, you can get lots of different types of Wyverns. You've got the fire, you've got the electric, you've got the poison Wyvern, and then obviously you have the standard one. Which is the one that I've spawned in. If you guys do want to see, you know, like a review of the uh, poison one or anything like that, then I'll make I'll make sure to do that. And um, obviously, this is the wyvern here. That this has no fire or anything. Oh, no, oh wait, the normal wyvern has fire. I didn't even think that the normal wyvern actually had fire, but it actually does. So as you can see here, it's actually got fire, which is pretty epic. Looks insane. It's got a re very very quick as well. Very very nice attack. And um, obviously, the big boy, as you can see over there. The Alpha Wyvern. It is just going to be insane. I'm just going to hop off my Wyvern there and it's taking me somewhere. Please let me go. Um, now, I don't actually know where it... Oh, Sabertooth. Okay, okay. Um, we've got God Mode on anyway. So my Wyvern's decided to go walk a, walk a, you know, walkie somewhere. But then obviously the next one that you guys have been seeing destroying this whole episode is the Alpha Wyvern. This is quick. Look how fast it is. It is insane. It breathes fire, obviously. And um, it is just insane, absolutely insane. You guys saw it destroy everything. It is mental. It is so crazy. And um, I cannot wait to use this thing more often. Now, I don't know, obviously, as it's alpha, you might not be able to tame it because, obviously, I force tamed it. But it would still be cool to get some XP and actually have a big battle against this later on, which would be pretty cool. So, the last thing is something you can't actually see. Now, I don't know if they're still there. But we can have a look. We might have to spawn them in again. Um, they, it looks like they may have disappeared. But yeah, I think they may have disappeared. But what it was, is it was a death worm. So if any of you guys know what a death worm is, it is the massive worms that jump out the ground to attack you. And it looks like mine have despawned, but they are insane, guys. You can't ride them, but they're, they're just crazy. They are absolutely crazy. So we're actually going to spawn in one now for you guys, because I actually want you to be able to see the... Um, the death worm. Now, I think I'm going to spawn in a mega death worm just because, you know, at the end of the day, we might as well go big. I mean, you guys, we, it's, the, the normal death worm looks exactly the same, just much smaller. So, you know, we'll make the video better by actually spawning in the big mega ones. So, um, we'll spawn that in now. And you can tame them. I don't know if you can tame them normally. I know you can tame them. I've force tamed them. You can usually force tame everything. But, yeah, you can. Um, I force tame that and. Um, uh, and uh, you can't ride them from what I know. Um, I can give it a go, but I think I've already tried and it didn't work. So as you can see, something's towering over us. It disappears, and we'll wait for it. We'll wait for the big finale. We'll wait for it. Oh, oh, oh! We've just been lifted up. Yeah, it is pretty massive, guys. I'm gonna quickly force tame it so it doesn't decide to attack us. Um, but it, it is insane of how big it is. No, not force tame. Force tame. Um, and, uh, yep, yeah, we'll just type it in, and then we'll have a little go this guy. He keeps going under the ground every, every now and again, which is a bit annoying, but he is huge, and he does insane amount of damage. We'll, we'll see if we can get into his, um, this is an alpha one, so there's actually an alpha death worm as well. I don't know if we can actually get into his inventory, but we'll give it a go. Oh, no, we can. So, the health is insane. The melee damage isn't, like, crazy, but his health is pretty insane, and watch them go under the ground, and then they come jumping back up any time you need them to. So, these were mostly all the dinos that I wanted to show you guys. And, you know, how to tame them. I do love the mantis. This is one of my favourites. I think it's just so cool. Um, obviously, you know, the uh, manticore is insane as well. Just look at that. They're, this this just feels like I'm playing Unaki Genesis or something like that. But... It is going to be insane, and I cannot wait to actually get the series coming on and, you know, starting. It is going to be crazy. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys are as, as excited and having as much fun on this as I am, because I am having so much fun on this, and I cannot wait to get into lots of other cool stuff. And um, there's also a Jaboa, which I didn't think I was going to do, but oh, I, did, I decided, you know what, um, you know, they're pretty... They're, they're the cutest things on the game. They're just these little, like... Little guys, and they're so cute, but I didn't do it anyway because I wanted to show you the big ones. But anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to smash like button, subscribe for more. Thank you for over 12,000 subscribers again.
again, and I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. I may do another one later on today. I'm not sure. I want to try. I'm gonna try and get episode two of the series out, but I'll be. I'll let you guys.